I wanted to show you a new project that I'm working on where I'm making some theta waves to embed in some meditations, some personal meditations that I want to make. And I might make them public, I'm not sure, but um, for now I just wanted to show you what I was doing. So um, for theta waves what we'll need is a couple of instrument tracks and a couple of audio tracks and then a couple of more instrument tracks to record your keyboard or whatnot over on top of your um, theta waves. So to get started, what we'll do, and this is going to sound really bad, so I just want to let you know in advance. So be prepared. If you have headphones on, um, be prepared. So we're going to use the test oscillator, um, and where that can be found is under utility, and then test oscillator, and we're going to go with mono. So there you got 1,000 hertz. I'm going to bring this down to 90. Whew, okay. And then I'm going to do another test oscillator, mono. And this one I'm going to make 96. Okay, so now you can hear that. Wah, 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 wah. And that's the um, 6 hertz brought up to a frequency where we can actually hear it audibly. Um, and so this is pretty loud. I definitely don't need it to be that loud. So I'm going to bring this down to about six here. Okay. So that takes care of that. We have that running. There is no on off. So if you want to mute it, just mute it. Okay, um, now what we want to do is we are going to send this first frequency to a bus. So we're going to just choose bus 1. And then the second frequency we are going to send to bus 2. And you can see those uh, auxiliary, those buses show up automatically over here. I'm going to leave them as mono tracks also. Um, so I'm going to unmute, and then I'm going to bring these up to zero. Okay, and now you can see they're being received by the buses over here. Now that I have them on my buses, now I want to record this for, I don't know, nine minutes. So what I need to do is I need to send these buses into one of these audio tracks, into these audio tracks, two of these audio tracks. How I will do that <laughs> is uh, this input over here is going to be from bus 1, and then this input over here is going to be bus 2. And you can see nothing's happening yet, but that's because I don't have the record enable. So now that I've record enabled, you can see it's about to max out over here in the output, but actually it's because I have basically six tracks doing this exact same blah, 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 sound uh, in the monitor mix, but really all you're going to hear is this um, audio here. So I'm going to go ahead and let this record for nine minutes and then we'll be back. Hi, okay, so we're back and I have the audio here. Let's go ahead and play it and see what we have. All right. Now I'm gonna try to soften it up a bit. So what I'll do is I'll pan this hard left and hard right. Sounds good? Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and um, bring these way down. Because I really, I really just want it way in the background. So really low. I'm probably going to mix, mix it even lower than that, but we're going to start there for now. And before we get into recording the keyboard here, 
this is just a basic stereo track with a, the instrument of my choice on there. Um, but I wanted to show you something. When you go up into these recording options, recording settings, there's this tab called tuning. And in here, you can set your software instrument pitch. And um, there's this talk about tuning to A32 um, instead of A440. So um, what I've done here is I've reduced this number here down to negative 31.8 and that brings it down to A432 hertz. Now, when I opened up this screen, I was like, okay, what is going on over here? So if you want to go down this rabbit hole, I definitely recommend it. It's pretty fun. But um, equal tempered um, as opposed to a fixed, um, your harmonics basically as you go up and down the scale of a piano. Um, so there are a lot of different scales to choose from, different root keys to choose from. You can even make your own. Um, so there, as you can see, when you open this up, there are tons of different uh, things to choose from. So let's go ahead and start with this. And um, you, if you want to see what they look like, you say copy to user, and then it shows you exactly what's happening there. And if you want to edit any of these, you just click user and then double click in there and change the numbers to whatever you want. So sticking with this, I'm going to make my root key, root key this B flat, A sharp. Um, I won't get into why, but <laughs> you can look it up if you want to go down that, that route. Okay. Um, I had to find the right sound for you. Okay. Here, here you go. Okay. So here is um, this type right here. And this is your, um, you're listening for the harmonics as you go up and down the scale. So what I'm playing right now is a B flat and an F together. Listen to this. If you can hear that, it's kind of a sound. Now, let's choose a different one. Let's go to these, um, this Chinese one. This is a really nice one. I really like this one a lot. these it's really cool so I'm gonna leave it at this one copy to users so I can see what's going on there okay I'm gonna go ahead and close this out I'm gonna come back to loom over here which was the instrument I want to record so we're gonna go ahead and um, play okay so I'll go ahead and record.